Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today we have two young future artists ready to take the billboard over. They've been the talk of the town lately, and we know exactly why. In this video, we will see who's better, Ali Sherlock or Kuan Durkin. So stick with us till the end. Now, it doesn't take a fortune teller to forecast their future, but here are some of the reasons why they're very successful. Let's start with Kuan Durkin. He was born on the 23rd of July, 2002. He's an Irish singer, a guitarist, a pianist, and an actor. He's mostly known for his role as a prince in the production of Cinderella Live in 2020. He began showing interest in music at the age of 4 and attended the Royal Irish Academy of Music and went to the Guildhall School of Music and Drama in London for his classical singing classes. He is indeed born from the limelight as before he went on to work in Cinderella, he was already famous as the kid bustling on Grafton Street in Dublin, Ireland. Ali Sherlock, on the other hand, was born on the 7th of April 2005. She's an Irish singer, a guitarist, a songwriter, and a busker. She gained her fame through a viral video that featured her singing Supermarket Flowers by Ed Sheeran. She also auditioned for Britain's Got Talent. She dropped out of primary school and then was homeschooled. She's made her appearances on The Ellen DeGeneres and The Ray D'Arcy Show. Kuan Durkin joined YouTube on the 24th of February 2016 with his first upload made about two years ago. He has 30,800 subscribers with 27 videos uploaded to date. Ali Sherlock joined YouTube on the 26th of December 2014 and she made her first upload about 5 years ago. She has more than 5 million subscribers with 860 videos uploaded to date. Kuan Darkin has a net worth of $3,921 and that is only from YouTube. He has done and been in many other gigs so I'm sure that it is way beyond that. He makes about $6 and about $300 a month which depends upon his views and could be below or above. Ali Sherlock has a net worth of $2 million and she makes about $60,000 a month. Kuan Durkin has a very good tenor voice and I think jazz would suit his voice. Very good command over the voice and his live performances showcase him taking very good control over his voice. Amazing rendition. He has this classic voice. I grew up listening to Frank Sinatra. He kind of reminds me of him. He has a humble voice and a nice baritone that suits his personality. Durkin has this warm, rich voice, very unique for someone of that age. Ali Sherlock is no doubt a natural. She never pushes her voice despite a psychological need to shout to fill the space and the fact that she uses singing as a way to cope with the pain and her voice clearly tells a story that you feel. Music is the language of the world. Her singing reflects her soul through her voice. She even says that she doesn't practice and she just improvises while she's singing. Her tone is amazing with great control over her voice. They do have very distinct voices and different personalities, but their duets are way more wholesome. Well, they're buskin after all, and it takes a lot of courage to go out there and sing with people walking around you. Now it is clear that their video of them singing Unchained Melody was clearly improvised, but they were quick to carry on even with the minor mistakes here and there, and it shows their chemistry and the compatibility that shines through their performance, and it makes a lot more wholesome. I guess it was also rumored that they were dating, but looking at their age and the career that they have ahead of them, I'm certain that they're not. If anything, they're best friends. Anyway, in my opinion, in terms of fame, Ali definitely takes the spot, and Durkin has this jazz voice that I really like. They're both very talented, and in my opinion, both of them are winners. I would prefer Durkin over Sherlock. Comment below who you think is better. I'd like to conclude the video by saying they're both very good in their genre, and I'm no one to judge them. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to not miss any new updates. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.